All right. Hi, my name is Druid. I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to be raid ready. So we're going to go to this fancy little website called destinyrecipes.com slash checklist. So we'll go there. You'll love the site and uh, give it a minute because this site, it takes a while to load up. A lot of people have been using it these days. Uh, if you see this, just close this. It doesn't matter. Um, but if you don't see this, you'll see it when you log in. So we'll just do a fresh. So this is the page that you will come to when you come to this website. You click login, sign into your desire platform minus team. Once you load in, you'll be brought back to this page. Click on checklist. Now you'll be brought to this page. Now this is a lot of stuff to take in, which don't be overwhelmed by it. There is a lot on this website to, and it's practically getting you ready for a raid or just for the season. But this is what you really need to focus on is the stored XP area. Everything else is not really mandatory, but we'll get into this kind of later. So this is the main part is the stored XP. And as you can see, I have 15 levels saved up for the next season pass this is all calculated. Uh, so yeah, we'll be when, when you get to this, you just click show bounties and then make sure you click the show available bounties from vendors. And this will just show you every bounty in the video game. Now, sadly, you cannot get all of these bounties on each character, but uh, this does point you into the right direction. It also shows you like how much XP a certain bounty has. What you want to focus on is these 12,000 XP bounties. These are your weeklies. Now, this is very late game uh, for how much we have, how we have left, left on how much time we have left in the season, meaning that this week and next week is kind of our last two weeks to bounty prep. So if you're just now getting ready for doing the raid or interested in doing the raid and you're kind of lacking, this will kind of help you point forward to where to go. So you want to focus on weeklies. Now, if you're not in a clan, don't worry about the clan weeklies. Obviously, I mean, if you are in a clan, definitely grab these and get your friends that or clan mates to do these clan bounties because there's a lot. I would highly suggest getting them. you get four each week. Um, then you'll go to the lectern, the moon, you go to pet revenge and uh, do Europa. If you have uh, empire hunts unlocked. You'll have two for those. So practically for Lectern 2, Moon 2, uh, the Dreaming City has two, and then Europa has two. And then, then you'll go to the Star Horse, which also has a bunch of weeklies, but you can only store one. So uh, there'll be this one, which uh, this one that's like the golden Star Horse one. Don't focus on this one. Don't really focus on this. You can get these other ones that are like very easy to do. Like this one says grenade and uh, you know, this one is getting grenade kills. So this is easy. This one is getting melee and kinetic kills. It, it's it's really easy and these provide the same as this one will. This one only gives you just an extra reward, which isn't really needed due to how just how prepping is. But this is all you want. Now, these bounties that I have here are from Solstice of Heroes, which even Levante bounties will be carrying over next season. So I picked those up when I was ready, uh, when I was uh, getting uh, Raid Race ready. Now, the next bounties you kind of want to focus on is actually like the vendors in the tower. So Drifter, Zavala, Banshee, and uh, some Crucible bounties that you can see here. That's what you kind of want to focus on. Don't really focus on anything else like planetary materials. You'll get that in season pass. Don't really focus on trials. You know, it, everything else you, you're pretty much set on. And so, so once you have all your weeklies, which I highly suggest focusing on first, then you can dabble in the, the dailies. And then once you get all your vendor dailies done, then yes, you could theoretically go to different destinations like throne world or Xur. i grab these you don't have to grab these you can wait for the next day so you can grab more vendor bounties once you're out of vendor bounties then i would probably suggest going to a planetary or even more like more destinations to give you bounties again you don't have to do like trials or anything if you have practically all your dailies for all vendors and you still somehow have more 
then you'll go on to repeatables. Now repeatables aren't really the ideal to go for, but uh, looks like how they've done some XP changes. Repeatables will be okay, I guess. Uh, the one thing that you want to avoid is actually grabbing seasonal bounties. So like the Leviathan ones or Seas of the Haunted ones that you have here. Don't grab these. These are not these are not going to carry over next season. These will be going away. So therefore, do not go for these, I would say. Now, that's all for bounty prepping. And really, that's the main point. So you can just click off the video. Now, if you want to like understand the rest of the website, you can. So I'll be explaining that. So you see prep score. Prep score goes off of, you know, what we see here, materials, resources, stored XP, glimmer and vault space. So really, you're worried about just that stored XP like I showed you. The materials, resources, glimmer and vault space is just there so you can be prepared for like buying more materials and everything, being kind of like ready for like anything material heavy, like getting upgrade modules, going to Rahul and everything. So this right here you can obviously see that you know i'm very low on any everything except for literally spin metal leaves i don't know how but yeah but these are the materials that you want to kind of focus on because these are all the plants and materials we have and these would be helpful to buy upgrade modules which mean you can buy enhancement cores you can buy you can buy glimmer with these and all that um so yeah, I, would, I highly suggest maybe getting these done. Now, again, it shows you like a milestone where to get you only one to a thousand of these. I've over exceeded and about to hit 2000. Again, you don't have to do that. Honestly, you don't even have to focus on materials. But if you want to, just so you can have glimmer saved up, eh, go for it. Now for resources, which is legendary shards, upgrade modules, all this. Now, I know it's hard to get golf balls. I know it's hard to get enhancement prisms sometimes and but mainly you want to focus on just these four because these are going to be very easy to get this one is going to be a little bit harder enhancement prisms so yeah enhancement prisms are hard to get due to it requires you to go to even higher difficulty knife balls but if you go into the highest difficulty for matchmaking if you're a solo player uh you'll have a ghost mod that can get you enhanced prisons doing uh knife falls or even vanguard strikes completions so just kind of hang on to that or what you can do is do uh, pump resources materials and some of your enhancement cores to buy these from rahul which also you can do for enhan uh, enhancement shards so that is kind of like a hand in hand thing if you want to do that you have two weeks left so eh, it's up to you if you really want to do that now swells a conquest this is in a in a sense that's if you have a raid team now spoils of conquest kind of drop when you do a raid that you've already completed and that'll be your only legendary drop so say that you did for my example i've done a uh, valid disciple one character i got all my valid disciple loot drops now when i run valid disciple on that character i ran on the only thing that'll drop from each chest and each encounter would be spoils of conquest which is very nice because once you have all your spoils, you'll be able to buy yourself a raid exotic or so like how Legend of Acris right now has been, you know, buffed a little bit. People might want to say you want to get that you might want to get anarchy or you want to get the black army sparrow that. Yeah, that's practically what you want to want to do, I guess. Again, this is a very niche thing and depends if you really want to go after this again like with the handsome shards it depends if you want to go after that every uh seasonal reset all the vendors uh that have like a track will give you an ascendant shard so you can theoretically get these for free without doing anything but just grinding that activity so it's kind of it's up to you on that now scrolling down to weapons now some of these weapons are some instead of like the shadow price and the extraordinary edition and some other stuff that we kind of hard for your for you to get hands on so for this like this is like a general gist list and be, also uzume is sunset as well you can't even get uzume anymore but again this is just in this is a general look of like what you kind of like want to have an idea of what to have you know like for blinding nades and all that like there's so much weapons in the game that 
this list has not been updated, but it wouldn't hurt to kind of go after weapons that you can. Like some of these weapons are from raids. If you don't have a raid team, it is a okay. Uh, you know, or, you know, people, if you don't have people doing raids to get these weapons, but you do have a clan that wants to do raid ready, it's, 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 that's up to you. But these are kind of like a general gist of weapons you kind of want to go for. And, um, yeah. So that's practically all of, all of this website. I almost missed one thing. You don't really need to worry about vault space again. Like this is, that's a personal preference thing and stored XP. That's another personal preference thing. But uh, exotics down here, they do recommend like certain exotics like Anarchy. That's why you'll probably want Spoils. Anarchy is a very good like heavy GL to like do contestant damage with while also swapping to like a sniper that, that they recommend or, you know. So, yeah. Sorry, I keep on scrolling past down to the exotics because you can figure where the exotics are. But these are like a general list of like exotics you want to get. So... Yeah, the only uh, exotic I know that you can't get from the kiosk would be Vex and Tang uh, Trinity Ghoul and Lament. I think those are the only. Nope. Also, uh, you can't. Certain exotics you can get from the kiosk. Certain exotics you cannot and are drops uh, or quests related. So yeah, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not the best at like explaining, but yeah thank you again for like watching and all that uh we've had 100 subs really crazy uh thank you all that kind of supported me uh on some of my videos uh honestly i'm just here to help out thank you again for all the love but uh, i hope this video has been very helpful and for people that want to use destiny recipes as kind of a, a helpful guide on where to go for and kind of look for and be kind of like mentally ready or have an idea of like what to do next other than that, my name has been Druid, and I hope I've been very helpful.